In this tutorial, I will show you how to put more than one board into a single Bridge Composer document. Now, as we did in Tutorial 1, we'll start Bridge Composer and maximize the window. Now we'll use the File Open command to locate and open the file we created in Tutorial 1. We called it Jacoby. Now before I start adding a second board, I want to make a slight change to the existing board in this file. So I'll use Board Edit and I want to set the board number to 1. Now I can type it into this field, but since we're numbering sequentially, I can just use this Auto button, and it will set it to 1. Click OK, and we see board 1. Now, to add a an additional board to this same document, use the board new command. And we get the same board edit dialog as we used in tutorial 1 to enter the first board. But now we're entering a new board. First thing to do is set the board number, and again since we're numbering sequentially, or sequentially, we can use the Auto button. And now we'll enter the cards. and the auction. Oh, we forgot to set the dealer. Dealer is south, and now the auction. Click OK and we see our board 2 taking shape. And then as before, we just type on the main screen to enter whatever commentary we want. And now I'm going to use save, file save. This new board is saved in that same file that we opened, Jacoby. The other board, board one is still in the file, you just can't see it right now. It's not on the screen. Now that we have two boards in the file, we can use these toolbar navigation buttons here, up here. Previous board and next board. We're at board two, so we click previous board. Now we see board one. This is the board we entered in tutorial one. It's the first board in the file. Now we can use the next board button and we go to board 2. 
This is the board we just entered. You can also see all the boards in the file using this drop down control that's in the toolbar. You see we have board one and board two in the drop down. If you want to see a particular board, just select it from the drop down. Now let's look using File Print Preview. Here we see in the Print Preview on page 1 it is showing Board 1 will be printed. Go to the next page. This is page 2 and it will show Board 2 will be printed on page 2. You can also use Print Preview to see two, two pages at a time. You'll see that we print page 1, board 1, page 2, board 2. Now the first question we get is, well, can I print both boards on a single page? And the answer is absolutely yes. The command for that sort of thing is File, Page Layout. On this dialog, notice the first option is the page layout. The value is by default one board per page. To change any of these values, click on the value. And you'll notice this drop down arrow appears on the right. And these are the choices for the page layout. So let's try two boards per page. Click OK. What we have here is now two boards per page side by side. Notice that the Bridge Composer screen represents a one sheet of paper. So in one board per page mode, you see one page, one board at a time on the screen. When we're in uh, two boards per page, now there are two boards on the screen. And if we use the Print Preview, you'll see that both boards print on the same page. Now when we have uh, more than one board on the screen, only one of the boards is what we call the active board. The active board is the one that would be affected if we used a used an, uh, a menu command such as board edit. Right now board 1 is the active board so when I say board edit board 1 will be the one that is that is uh, edited. When you when I go to next board now board 2 is the active board so if I say board edit Board 2 is the one that comes up in the dialog. Notice these little plus and minus signs on the left. They help you identify which board is the active board. They'll always be to the left of the active board. The active board is also the one uh, where the caret is blinking so that you can type. Another way to change the active board is to simply click anywhere in the board that's not active, a board that's not active, and it will become active.
Now let's try a different page layout. Suppose we want to defi divide the page horizontally rather than vertically. The way to do that is to use columns. So we can go as many as will fit one column. Now it's gone back to one board per page and the reason is that there's not room for that whole board 2 to fit in the space down here. And since it's uh, one column, uh, as many as will fit, only one will fit. Now we can make room for the second board in several ways. Let's go back to the page layout. One way is to reduce the margins. So let me change the bottom margin from 1 inch to 0 0.5, 1 half inch. Now there is room at the bottom. This reduced margin here makes room to fit board 2 into the uh, single column on page 1. Take a check with print preview. There we go. Other ways to make more room, you can reduce the side margins, or in general, and uh, you can reduce the font size. So now I'll use File Save, and we're done for now.